Okay, I've had some questions about my wood stove. Here it is. It's a Fisher wood stove. Um, we got it new in somewhere in the early to mid 80s, somewhere in there. I don't really remember exactly when. Um, but it's a Fisher wood stove. It's a mama bear. They have a baby, a mama, and a papa bear stove. And then they have another version that's got two doors in the front. But this is a single door mama bear. It takes a 24 inch log. The papa bears I know took a 30 inch. I don't remember what size the baby bears. The baby bears only has one of these dampers in the front where the mamas and papas both have um, two. And where it says Fisher and the pine trees and all at one time was painted um, silver. The whole stove has never been painted, so what it needs is cleaned up and painted sometime. All the water that I spill um, when I'm putting water in the pans is what the white stuff is there. So that's just because I'm in a hurry and sloppy. Speaking of the water, here's um, um sure if you're seeing that or not but um we put these in there just to help give a little fragrance to the house and what you do some of these have a dropper in them you only do a drop at a time or so and I'm gonna do this left-handed with a viewfinder so let's see what happens here you only use a drop or so come on more than a drop, but shoo we the whole house don't stink now. Try to only use a drop or two of that if you use that kind of stuff. Phew. But um another thing I have that I use is one of those thermometers, it's a magnetic thermometer, it just sits on there. The magnet, and the reason I have that on there, one reason is right there is a webcam. Okay, and where that webcam is, I can see that um, thermometer right there. And this thing has manual dampers on it, so if you start putting wood in there or whatever, you know, you got to adjust these dampers to whatever you want. Um, so instead of me running up and down the basement steps all the time. I just leave that webcam running on the computer and I can watch the temperature there. Now, it is a halfway decent sized firebox. Like I say, it would take a 24 inch log. I wish it was a little taller or something. I wish I could get at least one more log in it when I completely pack it. Um, it, it is lined with fire brick. It does have the door gasket on it. Now I can actually take this thing and close it up. If I close them dampers all the way up, you know like a like right now the fire is hot it ain't gonna immediately go out but I can choke the fire out with that. I've also got a damper up here in the pipe but I never use that. Um, now with this being in the basement I have a fan here and that fan blows air up there constantly and what you hear running here is another fan. Ooh, got me some cobwebs. But um, this is one of the fans that you put in. It's a booster fan to put in your heating ducts for uh, just a house furnace or whatever. So if you need extra push of air. And um, that's been in there about three years. It's starting to get a little noisy, but it. it works well and they're not that expensive but what it does there's a room up here that all that hot air goes up in and it just helps a lot a lot of these wires are just dead they're just there i started to do some wiring and i never have finished wiring in this place i need to redo all the wiring and a lot of it but um there's some uh, wood hoard okay Man, that stuff stinks if you use too much of it. Just use a little bit of that fragrance. Now for me to get wood in the house, 
I put a video up earlier this year of me putting some wood in the house. But here it is. And um, normally I'll stack these last that I throw in, but you see back there they're stacked wood and you can't see back that far. But this whole thing is full of enough wood to last me through the whole winter. So I never really got to go outside. I just come and open the door up and get my wood. So there's my bucket I use. I pour out of that bucket into that pan and I slop it all over and that's what gets me all them stains all over. Also, we got some things here. We got this, okay? And um, this was homemade out of a stainless steel and just a steel pipe. But it makes a pretty good shovel to do the ashes and everything with, you know? Because this doesn't have an ash pan, so you gotta let the fire die a little bit to where you can scoop the ashes out. But um, that actually works pretty well. And then with this, also not having an ash pan and stuff, you know, the air comes in here and out the back up there. So all the air comes rushing through and by the time the fire gets burnt, everything's piled up against that back wall. So we made this, okay? Just a piece of angle cut. It's got a, oop, got a little tab on it there with a pipe nipple welded onto it. And then I got this handle here on there. And what that does, it lets me reach way back in there easily and drag the ashes and everything back up to the front here. And actually it works pretty good. Both of those tools actually work pretty good. You can see we've went through a lot of the different shovels and stuff like that. But all in all, this is a pretty good wood stove. Now this was made, like I say, in the early 80s. I'm not sure exactly when they started putting the EPA tags and stuff on wood stoves, but this was pre that, it's before that happened. And um, when you go out, follow the pipe out, it goes through the block wall there, and there's a chimney on the other side of that wall there. It's one of them um, uh, laid out block with a flue liner in it. So that works pretty well. It's kind of nice having the basement because it's all concrete down here and stuff and you don't really have to worry much about it. But it's a kind of a pain going down the steps all the time. That's where an automatic damper wood stove would come in nice. Um, my dad worked at an aluminum place, so this is all thin sheets of aluminum and drop ceiling rail. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But put that up there just to try to save on some of the dry heat and all going up into the floor joists and everything. But yeah, that's my um, Fisher Mama Bear wood stove. It works pretty well. This is a, a three bedroom house. Okay, and this basement is only under the two middle rooms. There's two rooms that way and there's two more rooms that way upstairs. And um, this heats it pretty good. I don't really know what the square footage of this house is, but it's basically three bedrooms, uh, dining room, living room, kitchen, bathroom, so whatever that equals up to. But it, it, it's a pretty good, well-built wood stove. It's pretty thick metal. And like I say, it's never, never had anything other than just being wiped off and stuff. It's never been painted or nothing. It's all original, so that's probably what I need to do. I was wanting to do that this, um, fall before I used it but I never got to it but anyway there you have it that's my Fisher mama bear wood stove